Welcome to Starlight Shores. We are going to play the home of Kristen Law. I have not played Showtime very much and I completely ignored Starlight Shores. So I want to play each individual family. And I want to create a different story for each one. So I'm taking a look at this house. I've never been in here and I didn't think I was going to like it, to be honest. But now that I'm here, this is actually quite creative. And she is a criminal. And she has all these stolen stereos and televisions in her garage. But I'm going to sell a few of those to make some money. Wow, that's a big television. A super TV in your bedroom. When you, your yard looks like this. Okay. I'll buy that. That's like a $20,000 TV. And let's take a look and see who you know. We've got one distant friend that looks like Stardust Woods. And the first female that I came to in her relationship panel, I've already decided that's going to be the man, if she has one, that Kristen Law is going to steal. She doesn't want anything the correct way. If she doesn't have it, can't afford it, but wants it anyway, Kristen is going to find a way to get it. So everything, including her man, is going to be ill-gotten gains. So, unfortunately, if Stardust Woods has a gentleman fellow, which I believe she does, I believe that's Brandon Woods, then, unfortunately, that's her target. And she needs some athletic skills, so let's go ahead and do that. And why is there a stolen lamp in the middle of the room? Let's just set this here. That's a good place for it. Set everyone who wants to break their toes tripping on it. I should have fast forwarded past this part. I kind of hate watching them in the beginning working out. So let's go play with this. And have a fantasy adventure. But of course she needs some skill. So I, we have to get at least one. Who would want to come and visit this yard? I mean, that throwaway couch outside is perfect too. It's like the bonus t added touch at the end. The icing on the cake. You can work out longer before getting fatigued if you pace yourself properly. Let's do that. All right. You go on your fantasy adventure, you stinky, stinky girl. She sure is enjoying herself, though. I'd be trying to find the nearest shower quickly. This is a cute house. For a criminal. And everybody always has to start out get, take, they're getting their needs met. I told you I can't speak. The goblins aren't the only dangerous part of the ice caves. A frozen stalactite comes <laughs> crashing down towards Kristen's head. How does Kristen escape? Well, between agility and, agility and intelligence, that was obvious. It was agility. But the obvious doesn't always work in this game. Sometimes the obvious can kill you. She's very happy even though she smells bad. And she wants to meet a supernatural, pillow fight with Mr. Best, see a ghost, and learn the guitar skill. Those are her wishes. And she wants to reach level 10 in the criminal career skill. Oh, I've never noticed these blinds before. Interesting. Can you hurry with your bath, miss? 
I mean, look at this. Newspapers, piles, all kinds of stuff in this house. It's cute. I love that door. But I can already tell I'm going to have to take the cabinets out. Where in the heck is her phone? Oh, there it is, by the fridge. Behind the wall mounted television. Ugh. If I could ever get my camera angle right. Coordinate your brain, girl. Let's call someone and get your socialization up. I want your first day at work to go well. And I don't know about you, but my game always lies too. When it, It'll tell her or tell me she's about to go somewhere and she's not. Hurry up and cook your food. All right, take the cabinets out. And I've sped that up a little bit. Not a bad little outfit. I like that outfit. Although those mm. boots sure mm. look painted mm. on those legs. All right, Miss Law, mm. let's find mm. you a boyfriend. Mm. Let's see if her mm. boyfriend or husband mm. or anybody shows up of Miss Stardust Woods. And looky there, Brandon Woods. If you're not a husband, you're a brother, but why don't we call her and make nice and an introduction to that family. We just won't tell her that we intend to steal her boyfriend or brother. Hopefully, boy, husband. <laughs> That's more fun for a criminal. So and for those out there going, oh my gosh, Sugana. how can you be thinking about Jack setting Bebo. up an affair like that and steal somebody's mm. man? Well, Muba. it's no fun if every single Muba town Zamba. and every single sim, they all get along, they're all loyal. You don't get to see the other aspects of the game that were created for that reason. Nista. So, a criminal is not going to be conscious mm -hmm. of other people's feelings. It goes against her entire nature. She does not care about who she has to step on or hurt. She's not even caring <laughs> if he has children or not. But she's going to be taking him away from. Because they can always get visitation rights. <laughs> She just doesn't have any desire to know their children. She's not a good person. She's going to pretend to be for a little while. But then he's going to quickly find out that she's not what she pretended to be at all. And we're going to watch and see how long it takes for this to fall apart. Or that's what my plan is. The Sims tem tends to take you in a different direction than what you intend. All right, your profile says you are. You can't stand art. You're evil hot-headed, insane, and a kleptomaniac. Well, th that just makes you a perfect dish, doesn't it, Kristen? We're not going to change it. Let's see what kind of fish you can get with this kind of profile. Kristen will always remember the time she completed her first modest, modestly embellished online dating profile. Well, I don't know how we embellished it, but we'll share that memory. And I don't think she has any messages yet, but we'll check anyway. A hot-headed klepto who can't stand art. That's perfect. Who wouldn't want to date you? Let's see who's on here. Okay. Javid, Willard, Darren, Mitch, Seth, Matthias. All right. You are absent-minded, clumsy, kleptomaniac, supernatural fan, 
technophobe. Well, you're just perfect. Let's send you a message. Meet someone online. Well, I think we're going to do that. And she's got a sour face, doesn't she? Perfect criminal face. You have no messages. Well, who would want to answer that? All right, your getaway driver. You're hungry, tired. You cooked and then just threw it on the counter. That made perfect sense. But she really wanted to get into that dating scene, I guess. It was more important to her than eating. And let's go take an evil sleep. Oh, that is so cute. I didn't know they could sit on those. I did not know they could sit on the newspaper stacks. I thought that was just decoration. That just gives me more ideas. And this is so cute. Whoever designed this little house for a criminal that doesn't like art and doesn't like... What is this? Well, that's cute. The plant's coming in our house. I think it was coming into the girl's house, too. Because it's a little too close to the house. Mm. But whoever designed this house for a criminal who doesn't have a lot of means and stuff besides what she steals, it's absolutely perfect. I think. I like it a lot. And I just clicked on the law house when you go to Starlight Tours and you'll have it. It'll look just like this. Come on, hurry up and get all your needs met so we can do stuff. We don't want to watch you poop. Or brush your teeth or wash your hands or whatever. Or babe. But it's got to be done if you'll do the stuff I want you to do, Miss Kristen Law. But she does like the misery of others. I wonder if she likes her own misery. Does Misery like company in this game? I don't know. We'll see. In some stories it has. Some stories it doesn't. Even peop two sims that are evil will piss each other off sometimes being too evil. So we'll see. I kind of want to set her up with a good guy though and not a bad guy because that's no fun. It needs to be a little opposite. So we can find out for a little while if opposites will really attract. Revolting sights and smells. We'll go clean that up. She's got a cooking skill. Ah, oh, Simon Hodges we're texting. Carpool for Kristen will come in one hour. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was like 15 hours from now. See, I told you the game tends to lie to me and say they need to be somewhere. See? 15 hours from now. It just said my car is coming in an hour. Go to the summer festival. I think we'll do that. Let her have a little fun. Where is it? Verde Park, I believe. Why can't I go there? You just told me I could go there. Okay. By myself or with someone else? With someone else. Comrade Anderson is the only one that's letting me take, so let's take you, buddy. And I have lost my entire household. Go ahead and render game, please. Thank you. Well, that's not completely rendered. It's one thing I didn't miss about The Sims 3, but... I can deal with that for all the features you do still have with this game that we don't have in Sims 4 yet. We're going to put up our holiday lights. Make this little hovel look a little better. We can't see them unless we go up to the roof mode. So let's change the roof and throw those up real quick. And that's it for today, guys. I will see you in the next episode.